Matt here, and tonight I am taking a look at a newish disc from Lone Star Disc, and that is the Walker. I've got two Walkers, one in each of the Bravo and Alpha Plastic. This darker red one with this beautiful halo ring is the Bravo. This slightly lighter one with the light uh, pink ring is the Alpha. And this is their new overstable mid-range. So now they have mid-rangers that are the Walker and the Texas Ranger, and I gotta say they are great complements to one another. Think of this as like a Buzz, Buzz OS type scenario if the Buzz OS were even more OS. So they have three mids. They have the Texas Ranger, the Walker, and the, the Midi. And they're all kind of similar in feel. They're larger diameter, shallow mid-ranges, uh, all fairly flat topped. The only difference is basically the wing height on the three and the walker has the highest wing. It is basically almost completely flat with a very small near imperceptible dome in either plastic. And I think the Bravo might actually be, even be a touch flatter than the Alpha. Um, I took these out on the course at Etowa and then out in the field just to get a good feel of what they could do on a lot of different lines. And these guys, I feel like a lot of people are gonna like them. They're great in that like Buzz OS Justice type slot, especially if you like something a little more shallow. Uh, and I think actually the closest thing in flight might be like the end of a Gator, where it's it's pretty overstable, but it's not so overstable that a lot of people won't find a good use for it. So the numbers on this guy are five three zero four. So we're expecting moderate speed disc, not a whole lot of glide with a hefty fade. And let's see what uh, the experience out on the course were. Let's check it out. So taking these out in the field, I'm gonna try a little bit of Anheuser line to a headwind. It just holds the Anheuser the whole way. It goes about 300 feet. Trying to get this one on a little bit of a flatter forehand line. Still a little bit of flex, but it bucks out of it and got a little bit more distance there. That one's like 325. Trying some backhands, got a little bit of hyzer on this one. It rides that hyzer the whole way and barely goes 250. A little bit flatter on this one. It still holds through the headwind really nice and goes about 275. Try another flatter forehand. This one was probably the longest one I had. It was like 350, drops down pretty straight. Another flat low forehands, a little bit shorter, 325, and held the line really well. A little bit more Anheuser on that one. It bucks out real late. And that one was like 320-ish. Going out to Etowa on hole one, trying that left gap. And it probably would have come back, but it clips a tree and actually pushes it back into circle two. Over on hole two, I'm trying to take this left gap and end up by the basket and it comes back perfectly and is just behind the pin. Easy tap and puck there. Jumping over to hole 11, this one's a backhand, real downhill, small landing area, and it actually hits that tree right behind the pin and skips down a little bit, but still had a look for a putt. Hole 14, we're throwing across this creek, and it's about 320, and it got over there pretty good, but didn't come back as much as I want. It kind of circles, circle two edge on the left side. Island hole here on number 20. Got to stick that landing and it does just perfectly. So as you can see, the walker is, is pretty beefy. Uh, it'll hold up to a headwind. It'll hold up to some Anheuser on a forehand line. You can flex it, it'll fight out of that. But it's not so overstable that you can't use it well. It's not like uh, you know Stego or Frag or something that's incredibly beefy. It's not even as overstable as the Justices. Uh, that you've seen me throw in other videos before. It's, I would say the number, the fade number is a little harsh. I would put this at like a 5403 is probably what I would call it. But for my backhand, it was very hard to get very much distance on it. So maybe uh, for your average player, this is more accurate. I feel like Lone Star just keeps putting out hit after hit, really good disc, and their mid-range lineup despite only being three, four discs if you count the harpoon, but I think that's more of like an approach style disc. But you got three discs that are really solid and could be used by just about any player. The Texas Ranger, literally any player. The Walker, 
any player with some pretty good power that throws a lot of forehands. And the MIDI, kind of somewhere in the middle, great do-it-all type disc. So remember, you get out here, try a walker, and it doesn't get thrown. It allows you to throw it. But have a great night, and uh, try one of these guys out. I like the Bravo one a tiny bit better. You didn't hear me say that.